Hello and welcome RC Shim in the hangar. Let's try to get an advantage for you guys with my experience with different goggles. Those are the early goggles. My first ever are those Fat Shark and I think they now call it the base model. Uh, but it was the RV922. It had a built-in module. It already had 45 degrees of field of view and it got me hooked up to huge field of view. It's not sharp, it's not perfect, but it's one of the best goggles I had. Then got these Attitude goggles with swim glass rubber thingy here, which always fogs up. It's kind of terrible. And it had the diopter glasses to slide in. It also had a built-in 5.8 video receiver, which is nice, but not much else. And it only had 35 degree field of view. I mean, those were the best goggles I ever got and I still like them. They are super comfortable to wear now with the faceplate. You have head trackers aboard, better batteries, you have a decent battery life. There are different modules you can stuck in here and I will try to get the true diversity module. I don't like the Love Forge with, with the two installation thingies and with cable setup because the thing I have here is the Fetchark antenna diversity and antenna diversity is something different than uh, receiver diversity. One of the coolest features of the Dominator HDs is the DVR of course. The fan, I don't have fogging on this display. It's, it's amazing, it just works all the time for me. So those are super cool. Of course they are also super expensive. They are like $500 or more. Of all the goggles here I still use them the most but yeah I can see that it's a hard, hard part to get into the hobby with buying these goggles. Okay I'm trying to capture the image you get from the Dominator HD version once and you see blurry edges but it's only if the lens or your eye is too far away from the screen. So for me it works quite nice. I don't have this blurry image, but at least you see the color reproduction and the sharpness of this 800 by 600 display. Those are the Dominator Attitude with I think it's 35 degree of field of view. Okay, it's, it's hard to give an impression of the Attitude goggles that I have here. But it, it's really hard to, to film or to give you the impression. Those are way smaller than those. They have 46 degree, they have 35. Those type of goggles uh, declare themselves as 78 degree field of view, which is huge. Kind of the same, the same. Uh, so these have a smaller field of view. They are around the sweet spot for me. They are almost too large. But that's, that depends. But the big advantage of those goggles, you have two displays, your eyes can look straight into the distance and have no eye strain whatever. But on box type goggles, you have to be cross sighted almost. You have to focus on one single screen. And this single screen has to be as far away from you as possible to be nice. They use the Fresnel lens to let it appear further away. That doesn't always work. So on most of the goggles and very dominant on the EA Shine, the screen uh, would be nicer if it would be two or three centimeters further back. So basically I will have to cut this here, insert some foam and have it be away further. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.